The bucket toilet system was installed 12 years ago and a tender was awarded to an unknown company for the regular cleaning of these toilets. However, the residents charged that the cleaning and emptying process only lasted for a few months. Disposing the feces has been left solely up to them and while some accepted the task of keeping the bucket toilets clean, others feel that service provision remains the responsibility of the municipality. Only the first two streets of the Canal settlement is served with this bucket toilet system. The residents say that for an urban area, it is not ideal because there's no consistency from the town council side in removing the waste. Other streets do not have ablution facilities at all. The buckets are overflowing and are now attracting flies and cockroaches. The situation has forced some to dig holes in the yards to dispose the human waste while others have devised ways to put it in plastic bags and burn the plastics at this dump site located right in the middle of the settlement. However, this temporary measure has only led to a foul smell in the streets. These toilets are just making us sick. I don't know what the municipality wants to do with them. Children just suffer from diarrhea. Some of the residents are forced to go to the bush to relieve themselves. But women say it is unsafe for them at night as they fear attacks by the notorious Maymasa Gant gang, which is active in the settlement. At night, where do we take the old and disabled people? And some are on wheelchairs. The Khobabas municipality says after installing the first hundred bucket toilets, the cleaning tender was cancelled as some faults were detected. The local authority says it had then requested the residents to stop using the toilets. They were clearly told that after it has been cleaned, they must not use them until further notice when education has been conducted in the area and the shortcomings that we experience with those type of toilets have been sorted out. Bucket toilets have been listed a priority under the recently launched Harambe Prosperity Plan and is likely to phase out with the construction of 50,000 toilets in rural areas. Blanche Corres is NBC News, Khobabes.